If you are building an AI agent that uses your custom data to generate the response and you want not just to show the final answer to the user, but also the sources that model used for this response, so-called citations or references, then watch this video. I am going to show you how to do it using AWS Bedrock and Knowledge Base. In the previous video, I showed you how to connect your chatbot application with the AWS Knowledge Base. And in this video, we will continue improving our chatbot by adding the references or citations to the final response. We will use the same retrieve and generate command because it already has everything we need in the response. We just need to know how to access it. So let's get started. And first, let's take a look at our documentation once again. And here it is, the documentation for retrieve and generate command. And uh, if we scroll down, to the response. So here you can see this uh, part that is commented out. This is the retrieve and generate stream response. Then uh, we can see that uh, after the output that we already use in our application, we also have this citation block. And in this citation block, we can access the references that were used by model while generating this output. And now let's go back to our code. So as you can see, our chatbot returns some uh, custom data about Monster Corporation that I uploaded to our knowledge base. So what if we don't just want to get the whole response, but we also want to see the documents uh, where this data was fetched from. And uh, let's do it. Let's just go to our code and see what else we are getting in the API response. Right now, we are only checking the API response stream to get the generated uh, AI answer. But let's see what else we can get. So let's just log our API response first. And let me just delete all other console logs to avoid confusion and let's go to our console. Let's refresh the page and I'm going to ask our chatbot about Monster Corp deployments. You can see that chat uh, gave us some response, but here in the console we also see the stream. You can also go to network and we can see what we are getting. We are getting this binary data and it's really hard to understand what else we can get from it. But if we try it in a bit different way, but we can also try something else. We can console log the item here and let's try again and see what we are getting in the stream item. And you can see that some of these items, they not just have output, they also have this citation. We are getting some content. We're getting the original document that we loaded to our S3 and we even getting the S3 location as well. So if we want to show this reference, we just need to save this bit in our React state and show it to the user. So let's just do this. And here where we are going through our uh, stream response bits, we can add another condition. If item citation is not empty and then we are going to process our uh, citations and uh, we can again uh, create the variable here that would equal to the array. Uh, it's going to be array of our citations and then here we are just going to push our citation here and then after all, we are going to return not just the complete message, but also citations. And of course, we will need to change our types because now here, here it's not happy because this response changed. I can just console log it. So let's just see what we are getting now as a response. 
Yeah, it is failed because uh, it expects just text, but now we are getting an object with citations and the message. So we are going to fix it here. Here we are going to add, instead of just parse response, we are going to add the complete message. Even though this one is not happy now because it expects us to return just a string. But it is not a string, it is an object here. Yeah, we need to return an object here. And this object would say complete message empty string. Yeah, uh, so now here we are passing just the text, but we also want to pass the citations. Let's uh, pass them as the third argument here and let's add it to our history as well. And the type will be a type citation from this uh, AWS Bedrock client as well. You can see it here. I automatically imported it. Yeah, so this would be the type and we can just add it here. And again, I want to make it optional in case if we don't have any citations. And I think we also need to fix this message. As an array of citations. And now, yeah, here is also not happy. Yeah, because this should be optional. And now it seems fine. Okay, this one is not happy because this should be a citation event actually. I'm sorry, let me fix it. Event. And I need to fix it here as well. So what's the difference between citations and citation event? If we look at this documentation here, you can see this is the event and this event contains the citation and we put the whole thing there. Now when we are saving it, we can just see what is in our history right now. Let's delete this parsed response and let's just print our history and this is our history. Let's console log it. And let's go back to our chat. So I'll ask the same question again. And we're getting the stream. And you can see now we have two messages in our history. And the second message, uh, as well as the content, it also has our citations. And each citation can, consists of the entire citation event. So it has uh, this generated response part and the retrieved references. And we are interested in these retrieved references. Now we can display it here. So we can go to our chat message and we can add the citations and it's going to be I'm going to pick them from here and we're going to pass them here but it is red because our chat message does not know about citations but we are going to fix it adding the type and now if If we have a citations, then we can uh, return, let's say div. I'm going to use here a very simple HTML. I'm not going to do anything fancy. So we are going to list yeah, and this is actually an array of events. So, yeah, if citations and citations length is there, we are going to 
print our references here and then just map through these so-called citations. We can make it a list. And so in this list, what we're going to display is we're going to display the citation, retrieved reference, and then it's going to be a map again. And actually, only then we are going to use our li, our list element. And here we can display content text. And now let's probably try if it's going to work. And yes, it works. It's uh, returning the references here. So that's how you can access the references in AWS Bedrock Knowledge Base API. And I hope this video was useful for you. So please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or suggestions. And of course, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you.